Hello and welcome back. In this lecture you will learn how WordPress plugins and themes can put your site at risk and how to avoid that. First of all, you need to understand that plugins and themes are essentially a piece of code. Plugins add functionality to your website and themes determine how your website will look and feel. It will determine the user experience. It is impossible for you as the end user to check every theme, every plugin and every line of code and determine whether it contains malicious content or not. Which actually makes it easier for hackers and attackers to include malicious content and malicious code in the plugins and themes so they can gain control to your website remotely. Essentially, each plugin and theme, if used unwisely, are a potential leak, a security leak for your website and a potential source for attack. It is also very important that you know that the more active plugins you have installed on your website, the more resources, mostly CPU and memory, your website will consume. That's because it needs to load more resources, more pieces of code for every visitor that visits your site. So the more active plugins you have on your website, it's not only the more potential security leaks that you have, it's also that you need more resources to operate your website. And therefore, the first question you need to ask yourself before installing a plugin is, do I really need it? There are plugins for anything, basically anything in WordPress, from image galleries to comments to content publishing and whatever. Just name it and there is a plugin made for it. But you really need to ask yourself, do you really need it? Is it worth it? If the plugin solves an actual need and necessity for your website, which you cannot solve with any other way, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Install the plugin following the basic principles that you will shortly learn. But if you don't have to do that, if you don't have to use the plugin, then I strongly recommend that you skip the installation of this plugin and keep your site as thin as possible. And just to be clear, it's not that I'm saying don't use plugins at all. Plugins and themes can add great functionality to WordPress. In fact, WordPress without plugins and themes is like food without dressing. Think of pasta without dressing, without any sauce. All pastas will have the exact same taste. And the same goes to WordPress. WordPress without plugins and themes is essentially the same website for everyone. So again, use plugins and themes, but use them carefully. And when I say carefully, I say follow these following basic guidelines. First of all, only use plugins from authorized resources. And the first, the most important authorized source is of course WordPress.org. As I've mentioned earlier, it is impossible for you to scan each and every line of code, but WordPress.org is constantly monitoring the plugins published in his repository. And if a plugin is found to contain malicious content, it will simply be removed. Just look at the screen right now. This is the latest example from September 13th, 2017. A plugin was permanently removed from WordPress.org repository due to malicious code. That means that if you install plugins from WordPress.org, you have some sort of layer of protection. You have someone watching over your back. And if a plugin will contain a malicious code, then it will be removed from WordPress repository. In addition, there are great marketplaces for WordPress plugins, such as WPMUDev and Code Canyon, where you can buy premium plugins with support. Now, speaking about premium plugins, I do want to emphasize one thing. Only buy premium plugins from the original developers. You must understand that WordPress is an open source software. Themes and plugin developers are required to keep their source code publicly available on the internet for anyone else to see. The upside is that anyone can get access, look at the code for risks and flaws. The downside, however, is that anyone can copy the code. The result is 
that there are some sites on the internet that quote unquote offers premium plugins that they do not own for a very low price. I will not give an example for these websites simply because I do not want to indulge you to look at them. But if you come across a website that offer a premium plugin that costs 70, 30, 100 dollars for 5 dollars or less and if this website tells you that because the prices are so low they cannot offer support then that should serve as a warning sign. Usually, and I'm being very politically correct here, usually that means that they cannot offer support simply because they do not own the plugin and they cannot offer support. It should serve as a warning sign that this code is simply a clone of the original premium plugin. Now, if you purchase the plugin via that source, it may include a fork, a malicious code that can put your site at risk. So when you buy premium plugin, if you decide that you need a premium plugin, always go to the source and buy from the original developer, not someone who pretends to be the original developer. And the last thing, which is actually very, very simple, but it is so often just overlooked, is to delete unused plugins and themes. You must understand that when you install a plugin or a theme on your server, even if it is not active, the code, that piece of software, is still installed on your server. If the plugin or theme contains a malicious code, it can still be activated remotely, even if it is not active on your website. So let's see how to do that exactly. And I'm currently logged in to my WordPress site and, my, and I'm at the plugins page. Now, currently I have all the plugins selected. Everything is shown on the screen, whether it is active or not. To make things simple for me to identify which plugin is active and which one isn't, I will simply click on the inactive button. And now I've basically filtered the display so all the inactive plugins are shown. In order to delete an inactive plugin, all I need to do is to click on the delete link and to confirm the deletion and the plugin will be deleted. The best case scenario is that you will have no inactive plugins installed on your website. And the same goes for themes. Under appearance, just click on themes. And what you should know is that each WordPress website, each fresh install comes with three themes, the 2017, the 2015, and the 2016. You can only have one active theme at any given moment, and you will see it marked as active below the theme name. Choose the theme you want to keep active and installed, and click on any other theme, and then click on the delete button. And again, the best case scenario here is to have only one theme, which is your active theme installed and active. So that's all for this lecture. I strongly encourage you to keep in mind only to use plugins from authorized resources and not to be tempted to buy plugins um, for a very low price, which are not from the original developers and publishers. In the next lecture, you will learn how to better secure user accounts with simple but very critical best practices. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next lecture.